Hello and welcome to the Riddock Art Gallery inside the Riddock Arts and Cultural Centre. We are sitting in the exhibition Earth Canvas today, which is touring to us with Earth Canvas Group and the Albury Museum. My name is Serena Wong and I just want to start with an acknowledgement of country. I'd like to acknowledge that we're on the lands of the Bowen Dick people and I'd like to pay my respects to the elders past present and emerging and pay my respect to their spiritual connection to the land that we're on today. In the Riddock Art Gallery today we have an exhibition called Earth Canvas. It's toured to us by Albury Museum and it's a project that focuses on pairing contemporary artists with regenerative farmers. Now these farms are based in New South Wales and between the Murray and Murrumbidgee rivers and it's all about looking at the land through an artist's eye. The focus on regenerative farming is specifically about moving away from industrial farming practices, which are very common in Australia today, and looking at how we can work together with the rhythms of the land to focus on biodiversity, focusing on regenerating soil, and really changing the way we look at farming. This exhibition is a really special one for us to host. Being in the Limestone Coast, we are a region that is really linked closely to our farmers and to produce. And we're very lucky to be able to commission a new piece for this leg of the tour. We have paired contemporary artist Carmel Wallace, who's based in the southwest Victoria in Portland. And she has a long history with the Riddock Art Gallery. We have a number of her works in our collection and we've paired her with local farmers Sarah and Liam Brokenshaw who work from the Glen Huntley farm in Eight Mile Creek. Liam and Sarah's focus is on the soil of their farm and regenerating that. The soil being the foundation to their practice means that the things that they grow and that grow from that soil are the most nutritional they can be. They are the healthiest they can be and provide the best value. We invited the artist Carmel Wallace to create a new work for this leg of the exhibition and her art practice is focused on place, environmental awareness and the ethics of that. She's well known as a printmaker but a lot of her work is also sculptural and installation based and features a lot of cast off material. Carmel had a little studio set up by Liam in the wool shed. Becoming familiar with the rhythms of the farm and familiar with the different spaces, the different animals and, and how these all tied together, she became enamoured with the history and the practice of farming. In these tiles, you can see both organic and inorganic matter. She's taken wool and wire, resin and eggs. In some parts, you can even see uh, lizard skins and various other pieces. It's almost an eye spy for what you might recognise and what you might be familiar with being on a farm. She's used these elements to tell these stories, these distinct stories from the farm. It's not a one dimensional place, it's focusing on biodiversity and it's focusing on how interlinked systems can be beneficial to regeneration. But what's really special is that when you look at this artwork, though it's set out as a formal grid, the organic nature of it has its own story to tell which is really a powerful representation of the farm. And what's really special is not that this is an abstraction of the farm. It's not just Carmel's interpretation. She's physically brought the farm to us. She has removed the soil from there and brought it into the gallery. We are, with Liam and Sarah, custodians of the Glen Huntley farm for this period of time. You can see that different elements of the farm have been brought into the gallery. There are the paler tiles which represent the limestone, which is well known in the region. 
and well represented on the Glen Huntley farm. You can also see in the soil she's taken from the remnant bush, it's much heavier in clay and, and a completely different colour. There's also soil taken from the cattle yards, from where the sheep are, from the chickens, and you can see that the variation between these different areas represent what biodiversity looks like on a farm, but also how a farmer can work with the biodiversity of the land that they're on. This work is important in telling a story about the food that we eat, where it comes from, and how it's grown, and why this all matters to not only us as individuals and our individual health, but how farmers are custodians of the land and custodians for a climate future as well.